Hello my friends, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, January 15th, 2019. This is Jennifer. I come to you today from my backyard to show you what I did over my winter vacation. I mentioned a couple weeks ago that I got myself a really awesome Christmas gift. I bought a Grace Cunique 15R, which is a mid-arm uh, quilting machine to put on my Grace frame. and. During the break when my house was full of people and there was all kinds of random stuff going on, sometimes there might be a movie going on that I didn't want to watch or, or maybe everyone was out doing something else, I would sneak a little time on my frame for practice. And what did I do with that practice? Linus quilts. Lots and lots of Linus quilts. I had quilts that I had pieced when I had my BFF retreat with Jules last year. I had a donated top. I did one that was just a practice piece that was whole cloth. So I think instead of sitting here way far away from from all of these, I'm going to get a little closer and show you what I did. So the first two I want to share with you are both orphan block tops. This one was just a variety of bright colors that had black backgrounds or themes. I just pulled them all together. This was a BFF retreat top and I made bigger blocks and strips and pieced this whole bad boy together. It was fun to quilt. I did find a couple of seams from the original blocks that had not been sewn quite all the way, so I did some creative quilting here and there where I would tuck the little piece in that had come out and just sort of go over the top of it with a little quilting to hold it in place. The one next to it is quite obviously a Project of Doom. It is a variety of different blocks. Some of them are Project of Doom blocks and some of them were just like strip pieced stuff that I put in as books. And this row right here, this little row right here, that right there, that is the car from Supernatural that Jennifer R. tested for me. I don't remember when you sent me this, but it's been in my orphan blocks for a long time. And I just wanted to share that specifically because I know I've had it for ages and they do come back eventually. The orphan blocks all come out eventually. The rest of this is a very generally Harry Potter-ish themed quilt, but I also try to keep the Project of Dooms I donate um, light. We try to stay away from scary imagery so you won't see any Death Eater masks in my charity quilts and you won't see anything that might be a little scary so I try to use the more fun blocks and the other blocks I save for a rainy day. On this side I have a couple more orphan block quilts. This one was actually an orphan Bargello and um, Sarah from Houston gave either gave me or sent me this. I know it came from you Sarah. It was a started Bargello. Um, pieces of it had been made and cut and sewn back together but um, the only parts that had been pieced are these little pieces right here and the rest were strips. So I cut the strips apart and, and set those together and then just quilted the whole thing. This one was super fun to practice on and I will show you some close-ups at the end because I took the opportunity of all these different little colors to have some quilting fun inside of that while I was practicing. The one next to it is obviously a blue and yellow quilt. It was just blue and yellow blocks I pulled together from my orphan block stash. Made them all the same size. Some of them I cut down, some of them I add a little sashing. This is also a best friend retreat from last year with Jules. And then again, I just quilted it for practice. The last two are a little bit different. This is actually a donated quilt top and I have looked everywhere for the note that I thought I pinned to it as to who made this, but I can't find it. I cannot remember who sent this, but whoever you were, thank you again because the quilt top was there, the backing fabric there, and the binding fabric was there. The binding was already cut. So this one was just quilt it, piece the binding, and then get it finished. This one was super easy, super fast, and very fun to quilt. It was very flat and just perfectly rectangular, and it was a joy to quilt. This teeny tiny one right here will be a preemie quilt. They do with those a lot of times is they put them over the incubators, or they will use them as scent cloths for the moms. So this one, was actually a practice piece that was a much larger piece. And when I first set up my Cunique, I accidentally hit the tension knob. It took me a little bit to get the tension just right. And so I cut a big part of this practice piece away because the back was not, um, the, the bobbin was not good. So this is, the part that I salvaged, this is the smallest we accept, which is about 30 inches. And this one I will take and it will, like I said, it'll go to a preemie and we have a couple of places that, that do take these. But this was just me practicing quilting for the very first time on my Cunique. It did teach me to check my tension on the side before I get started, but I was so excited and I should have checked it. The Star Trek Quilt Along will be starting tomorrow on Fandom and Stitches. I'm very excited about this. The very first row will be from a brand new Fandom and Stitches designer and I'm 
delighted at the amount of talent and the amount of generosity that these designers have shown. They've been great. All of the rows are absolutely beautiful. If you've seen the sneak peek on the Facebook group or in the uh, on the Facebook page, on the Phantom and Stitches Facebook page, then you'll know that the quilt looks amazing. It's gonna be it's going to be fantastic. Oh, and a quick PS, I've already started receiving jelly rolls. I got Rainy's first, so you guys, the, the game is on. So go ahead and get those jelly rolls into me for our jelly roll swap. So that's it for me. It's getting cold out here and the sky is clouding up really quickly. It was actually quite blue when I started setting up. And on that note, I wanna do a little bit of end show and tell so you guys can see all of the quilting that I did. And I just want you to know that I've had the best time working on the free motion quilting. So I'm gonna get out of here. You guys have a wonderful week, you have a crafty week, and I will see you next week. Bye.